So the next drawing that we're going to do is a blind contour line drawing. Now I guess you can imagine what this drawing is going to be like. The idea of a blind contour line drawing is that you do it without looking at the drawing. Now there's a couple reasons for this drawing itself. One is you're not going to really focus on what the drawing looks like itself, but you're going to concentrate on seeing. You're going to concentrate on the details of your hand, not just the exterior edges, but the interior edges as well. So imagine as if you're a little ant crawling along that finger, dipping in and out each little wrinkle or change in uh, elevation that should appear in your other hand. If you get lost, you're going to just keep that line going. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to do four of these. Now the hand that you're drawing with should be underneath a sheet of paper. So if you're using a newsprint pad, which you should be for this drawing, take your top sheet, place it over top of the newsprint hand, have your other hand drawing underneath. The hand that you're not drawing with, you're going to use as your posing hand. So if you're right-handed, your left hand is going to be the one that's staying still and you're looking at to draw. If you're left-handed, it'll be your right hand that's staying still that you're looking at to draw. Now you're going to do four of these. So each one, like I said, they're not meant to be beautiful masterpieces that look exactly like your hand. But the idea is really focusing on detail, not just the exterior edges or the outline. You're trying to think about contour line and dipping into each one and all those little details. After you're done with those four, you're going to try a real challenge. Attempting a blind contour of your face. So go to a mirror, doing the same thing. Not looking at your hand that's drawing, you're going to look into the mirror and attempt to draw all the details of your face. So they won't, you know, once again, they're not going to look like you possibly at all. But the goal is, is that you really focus in on those details. If you get lost, just find your way back and keep going. When you're done, you're going to take a picture of it and post it to this assignment post. Just a reminder, there is a helpful hint link that if you need help taking pictures of your work, that uh, there's a little uh, link that will kind of help you with that. Natural light is always best. Try not to use your flash.